Laura opened her bedroom window, rubbed her bright blue eyes and watched the world come alive before her. Naked trees scattered the land, seemingly mocking her for not being allowed outside. Hundreds of children were sliding down hills and making snowmen, but her father forbid it. She wanted to be friends with them so badly, if only there was a way she thought. There's a ghost of pain and snow, someone screeched below. Laura peered and saw some of the boys crowded around each other, just like a group of girls would. It lives in Mr. Pierce's toy shop and waits till winds to strike. It'll take your eyes out and gold them up, because it doesn't have any of its own. Its eye sockets are black as coals, said another. Until I see it, I am not believing it, bellowed the biggest and tallest of them all. Laura's eyes lit up. Maybe if I catch the ghosts and show it to them, they'll be friends with me. She hadn't been this happy in such a long time. Laura grabbed her white coat so she couldn't be seen, whilst plucking up all the courage she could find and slid down the gutter that was very placed outside her window. She started noticing several children weren't looking very happy, and in fact were just staring in any direction without any purpose. Maybe they were sad or lazy, she just didn't know. Mr. Pierce's toy shop wasn't very far away, and as soon as you went in you noticed the vast array of puppets on sale. Many lined the roof like birds in flight, and were coloured all colours, from red to amber to green to gold. Laura only realised when she walked in that she didn't have a clue where to start. Well, where does it go? What does it do? How do you find it? As she was pondering these questions, a shiver like ice went down her spine, and, it was, and something like an icicle was placed on her shoulder. Laura turned round. There was no mistake. She had found it. It was complete white, with a face that cocked to the side, as if it was curious of her. The funny thing was that she was more curious of it than it was but it only had one feature. Eye sockets as black as coals. Laura's eyes were never bright, blue, or lit up. 